welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing a Tinker Crate. And I'm excited to open this one up and to see what it is. We're almost done with our Tinker Crate subscription, so maybe I'll get the Eureka Crate because I just think my son would, he's kind of at that age, even though it's for a lot older than he is, I feel like he's ready for something a little bit more advanced. <laughs> so anyway, if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today to give you different curriculum ideas and organizational ideas and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this crate. So this month's crate is Sketch machine, that sounds sketchy. <laughs> See what I did there? Just kidding. Experiment with twisting knobs and sliding strings to create amazing art. So that sounds like it's gonna be cool. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like right here. And then this says, use these pieces instead. So I wonder if maybe the original kit had the wrong screws in it. I'm not really sure, but it has this little thing and tells us where to use them. So I'll have to see how that works out with the instructions. So we have our little blueprints here and I think this is what our sketch machine's gonna look like when we're all done. So then we open these up and have all of our instructions right here. And then we have our little magazine booklet that's gonna give us some more information about art and machines. So that'll be interesting. This looks like an Etch-a-Sketch right here on the front, which is, I guess, what this kind of looks like. So it'll be interesting to learn about. There's all these different machines in here that are showing us different types of art. So that'll be fun to read through. I enjoy reading these. I'm not always the best at it, but when I do, I find it fascinating, just all the different things I learn from it. So then we have a bunch of pieces in here. And I wonder if some of these pieces aren't gonna be used then since we have these ones, I'm not sure how they're different. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I guess we'll see as we do the project. And then this has some string and some zip ties and maybe a few other pieces in there. And then we have some foam pieces right here that they can punch out that are sticky on the back. And then these are like little plastic. I don't know if you can see those uh, dowels almost, like really skinny plastic dowels. And then this says felt tip pens, probably for our drawing. So we have two pens here, an orange one and a green one to help us be artists, I guess. And then what is this? Oh, this must be the paper and stickers maybe. These on the top might be stickers and some paper for us to draw on. And then this looks like the main part of our contraption to sketch, to etch a sketch. So that's that, and that's what's in here, I think. Yep, that's all, that's all I see in the box. So that's what we have, and I'm excited to try this out. This is a little different. I don't know if we've got anything that's kind of combining building something and then also making art. So this will be a fun, different project, I feel like, for the Tinker Crate. So I'm gonna let my son get at it and we will let you know how it goes. and he wanted to join me today because why? Why did you say you wanted to join me? Because this is a pretty fun crate. Because this was a pretty fun crate. <laughs> so that's, that's good, two thumbs up for that. So we're gonna show you what it looks like. It's basically an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> that's what he created right here. And so it was a pretty cool contraption, huh? Did you enjoy making all of it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's very excited about it. And so, these are the little turny wheels, so as you can see as you move them, that one moves up and down, and then you can move this one and it moves side to side. 
And so I just think it's really cool. And then you put a paper inside this little, it has the edges right here, and it comes with paper that's that size in here. Sorry, I can't hold it up. <laughs> in here but you could also cut other pages to that size and then you tape it down on the sides are you going to show him <laughs> he's trying to figure out where to put it so you can see so this is one of the pictures that he did right there and he was very impressed that he made a number one on this side and so you put it down and then you can put the marker in here so it had the two different colors of marker that were in here if you want to sit down <laughs> you can stand up and so he used the green one and he's excited to make more drawings and stuff as well. So a few things here. The string was hard for him to do by himself. He kind of get, would get it where it needed to be, but it's hard to hold it tight and then wrap it where, where it needed to go. And so it was kind of me and him working on it together, that part. And then, you know, you put zip ties here, which he did a really good job with doing that. I feel overall it was fairly easy for him to do all, almost all of it and the instructions were pretty straightforward. It was mostly just the string and making sure they got lined up and where they were supposed to be. I think that was the hardest part. Do you think that was the hardest part? Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite part or the easiest part? Mm, drawing a picture. <laughs> drawing a picture was your favorite part? Yeah, he's excited to draw more pictures because that was his favorite. And you remember in the intro, I had those extra, that bag with those special screws, cause it showed there's two on here where these handles go. And it that that's where it showed they were supposed to go was those extra screws. And so I don't know if they were any different. I don't feel like, where did those screws look different? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like they did, but we still have extras here because of those ones. So I honestly don't know if we needed to use those or if we could have just used these. But there's some extra pieces in here, extra zip ties, some extra little clamps that go on this string up here. And you can tighten this string if you need to. You just pull one side and it will tighten it for you. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was just if in this book, there's so many activities in here and just a lot of cool things about machine art. So it goes through some different types of machine art on this page. It talks about laser cutters and printers, but then it talks about the algorithms behind them. So that could be a fun thing to talk about as well. You know, it's not just this sciencey thing or, you know, you're building a contraption, there's math behind it as well. And then it describes the machine here. So it tells you how to make a diagonal line, how to make a curved line, the marker, how it has pulleys, you know, so you're learning a little bit about engineering. There's a whole bunch of things involved in this crate. I know how to make a diagonal line. <laughs> he knows how to make a diagonal line. That's good. <laughs> and then it also has some really cool activities in here for you to do that you can follow the directions. And there's one more that I was looking at before. So you can print off a grid right here online. So I think it has it at tinkercrate.com slash sketch machine. And so you can print off the grid and then you can put in these coordinates and I guess draw something. So I thought that was cool as well. So there's just a lot of really cool activities involved with this and he really, really enjoyed this so much so that he's sitting here with me, which he doesn't normally do. And so we had a lot of fun with this. Didn't you have a lot of fun? Yeah. Yeah, are you excited for next month? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.